Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, the Yorick Staples open house event has returned and the open house will stay for all visitors until the Wednesday update on August 4th. The first thing that is back with the open house is of course the big dressage arena. So in the arena, all players will be hidden once you go in here and it is so, so pretty. So as you can see, um, if anybody comes in here, they you shouldn't see them anymore, but it is super, super pretty. And there's also some new music that they added, so if you want to check that out, you can come in-game to listen to the music, but th that is pretty much it for the arena. The open house arena also came with three races, so if you want to try them out, we just have to talk to Johanna up here at the stables, and she also has some quests for us to do, so that's how we'll get started with that, so I guess we'll talk to her. Hey! Great that you came by. As you can see, the first guests are already arriving, but there's going to be more. Lots more. You haven't missed the news, have you? That is open house week here at York Stables. So I think this is just the same dialogue, so I'm just going to skip through. So she'll want us to do some chores, so first we'll do balloons and we'll just set everything up. And then we'll just have to retrieve three horses from the paddock. So I think these are just the usual things that we have to do for the open house. And then eventually we should unlock the races and I'll definitely make sure to show them. And um, yes, yeah, so we'll have to put tack on these horses, lead them, and I'm pretty sure this is the same from at least the from at least last year and maybe the year before. So it looks like after we set up the signs, we're finally able to try the Yorick Staples Cross Country Race, so you get 150 horse XP. Let's try it out. So a very simple race, that was the first race. There's still two more to do, so once I can do those, I will show you them. You can also redo the race and still get 150 XP. So I'm going to take a break from doing the quests since they're a little bit annoying to do and I really want to check out some more exciting things, so I'll just go back to them and uh, next up is the horses. These horses are going to be a lot more exciting than those quests, especially since those quests are just repeats from I think the last two years, so already last year was a bit boring to do. So as you can see, there is a bunch of horses here this year. So during the two weeks that the open house will be here, there will be seven horses available. So from last year, six were already here, but this year there was a brand new horse. So there's a brand new Arabian. There are three Grey Generation 2 Lipizzaner horses for 949 star coins. Generation 3 Lusitano is available in multiple colors. They're 949 star coins. And then from last year, there's the Generation 3 Buckskin Andalusian for 950 star coins. And this year, there's the Generation 3 Black Rebecano Arabian for 950 star coins. And the horses will return again in the future, but if you want one now, be sure to get it before August 4th. Because the open house won't come back for another year, so if you want these horses, get them now. Um... Because I'm sure last year they'll, I'm sure, or not last year, I'm sure next year they'll add at least one more horse to this collection. So it's going to be harder every year to keep up with the horses. So I'd recommend if you have the money and you see one you like, just get it this year. So the new horse is all the way on the left. It is this beautiful Arabian. I haven't seen it in person yet. It looks like it has blue eyes. Um, you need to be level 7 to get these horses. Um, but yeah, this is the Arabian. Let's take a closer look at it. I love the 
really big blaze on it. It's really detailed. Again, the Arabians all have really detailed um, coats. Like, you feel like you're actually looking at a real horse. I love this pattern here, and it, it's, it's so detailed, and I really like the color on it. I really do, and its legs have white in it, and it looks really nice. The mane is an all-one color. It's a really nice looking horse. It's a unique coat color too. I don't think it's... I don't know if we have this coat color in the game or it's definitely not um, one that we often see. Yeah, I really... I, I don't think we have this coat color in the game. It is such a beautiful horse and of course the Arabians are a very new model. I love the pink muzzle on it too. I think I might just buy it. I have enough star coins. I think I did manage to find a uh, name for this horse, um, Dark Cloud, because ob obviously because it has a darker coat, and Cloud because it does have white and it kind of mixes in, so Dark Cloud I think uh, works well for this horse, and I probably spent almost all of my star coins. But uh, that is the horse, I will check it out, maybe I'll get it out of, get it out of my home stable now. Uh, it is such a pretty horse, so I can't wait to take a look at it. So this is my new horse, Dark Cloud. It is looking so, so pretty. I couldn't have the best look at its coat. Um, it is not mirrored because obviously there's this marking on this side and not on this side. Oh, its coat is so, so detailed. I love its tail as well as, um, as the color fades and, you know, it, it isn't... It, like its legs, it isn't just like it has like a sock at the bottom or something. I love how the white c comes down and like I said, it's blaze. It's really detailed. You can like see the fur really well. It's a really pretty horse, so I'm going to get on it. I'll also take a look at the main styles because I forget which ones the Arabians have, but this horse is so, so beautiful. So now for the main styles, I'll show you which ones they come with. So there's this one. This one, the braids, the longer one, which, why does the mane look so thick? Oh, and it is glitching. So, yeah, I, I definitely don't like this one. I don't know, it just looks so thick and it kind of glitched. But anyways, and then there's this one, which again, it looks so pointy and thick. I would say the best ones would be this one or the braids. Even this one is really pointy, like... It looks like it was done with scissors. My favorite would be the braids, but I don't like how short it is, so obviously I'm just going to keep this one. I love how it is, and it's really flowy, so this one just works well for me. But of course, if you want to change the man style fit free, feel free to do so. Next up, I will check out some new gear in the store that is available for your character and your horse. So over here is a shop with the new items. Let's take a look at the new items. So I probably won't have the best view ever, but at least there aren't people in the way. So let me just click on it again. So we have a show jumping saddle. Well, it's called a dressage saddle, but it's the same model as a jumping saddle. Um, they don't have a proper dressage saddle. I mean, it's black. It, it's still different from the ones we have in the game. It isn't as um, like black. And then we have a bridle to match. We have this dressage saddle pad, which goes well with this horse. We have some leg wraps for this horse. And then for our character, we have this hat. We have this jacket, which is looking pretty fancy. We have these breeches, which these are super white. And these boots, so it looks like the clothing has a little bit of red in it, some white gloves. We also have some bows, which are on this side, so kind of just black, and then one for the tail. And then lastly, we have a saddle bag. So that's actually the first set. So two sets came out today. So the first one is kind of like red and black. For the prices, the top is very expensive, for example, and... The top is the only thing that I think is too expensive. Everything else is a good price, so I don't know if it was the hardest to make the top or what, but the top is the one thing that I think is way too overpriced. As you can see, here are the prices. You'll have to be level 9 to get these items. They do have stats, which is good. So let's check out the second set, which has some 
blue in it. They call it teal. So it comes with this one. I'm not sure if it has a little bit of teal in it. I wish I could zoom in. I don't think it does, but I think it has, like this one is all black. I can see a little bit of gold in it, which also the bridle has some gold. Here is this. This looks really fancy. The teal saddle pad and then matching leg wraps, which I really like. The hat instead of the red has the teal and then the jacket has that color as well. The breeches are, I guess, gray and then again the boots. I think I like this set more, um, but again it is very fancy and then everything from the previous years are in the shop as well. I'm not going to get anything at the shop today, but if you got one of these sets or both of the sets, definitely let me know. I know Hugh the Vet is here, so if you talk to him, you'll be able to get free vet care once a day for the entire duration of the open house. And he's right next to the stables, so you do have to talk to him for this. It's not like it's stable care and it will be for all of your horses. So this is what comes every year, so it's a really nice addition. So if you have a sad horse and... You want to train it and you want it fast just talk to him petting zoo is also back so andy is there and you can go and to visit all of the animals so i'm gonna go do that here he is we have all the animals from all the years i think the um donkey is from last year because they came out with starshine ranch so you can just pet off the animals and get some really cute pictures. There's like a donkey, there's a pig, which I wish would get updated, there's a sheep, a cow, uh, there's a fox, there's some cats, there's an owl, there might be a chicken, but um, yeah, this is just the petting zoo, so it's just um, a little addition. So now I'm going to go and finish up the quests that I didn't do earlier so that I can do the two races and after that I'll share the teaser for next week so we are almost done. So I'm now ready to do the next race, I just changed horses since this is the one I'm training. So the next race is the Yorick Staples Elite Cross Country Race and you do get a little bit more XP, 200 from this and oh my god look at my XP bar. I need. Do I literally only need 5 X, like character XP to level up? I'm literally going to level up after this race because you get 20 character XP. Oh my gosh, I need- I'll definitely need to record this. So let's just do this race and I think I'm gonna reach level 22 after completing this race. So I just finished the race and now it is time to turn in our XP and I am so excited because I, I really think I'm going to level up. Level 22? I did level up! What? Level 22? I cannot believe it. I'm gonna keep continuing these quests by the way, so now we have a bunch of dailies to do and you can, again, do this race for 200 XP. It is a bit longer, I'm not gonna do it again, but we're gonna start the next quest and there should be one more race that I will show. So I'm gonna get ready to start the next one, which is a show jumping one. So for the show jumping one, we'll have to go down to the arena and talk to somebody, but that is the last race. And this race will give 125 XP for your horse, so it's the uh, one that will give the least XP, but it should still be fun.
And that is the end of that race. I really like this race. It's really fun with all of the obstacles. This one might, might be my favorite one, but let's talk to her and get our XP. And like with all the races, you can do this again and get 125 XP. So that is now it for the races, for the quests, and pretty much everything at the open house. Like I did say, lastly, there will be the teaser to discuss for next week as always. So coming next week, who's ready for the return of Linda's show jumping race? So it looks like next week Linda's show jumping race will return and her race comes back pretty often. I guess we'll be in Moreland, that's where it usually is. I mean, nothing too exciting. By the way, I think we don't have any more teasers coming up. All we know is that there'll be some dragon magic courses coming up, I think on August 12th, which is obviously not next week. So hopefully we'll get a new roadmap soon of what's to come, because it always seems like the one we get ends like so soon. But yeah, next week we'll get that. Um, and it'll probably be a pretty small update for next week if it's gonna be that, but hopefully more things will come in the future. I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know down below in the comments if you got any horses this year or if you will get horses, if you got the brand new one like I did. I know I love the one I got and I'm super happy that they made that horse available to buy and I hope every year they'll bring like a coat of a breed that we have in game because that's super nice i love getting just recolors make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it will really mean a lot like this video if you enjoyed it and turn on notifications so you know every single time i make a new video anyways i'll see you in the next one bye guys